Hello, hi. I hope you're treating yourselves well and of course others. My name is Claire. This is a prosperity uh, reading, um, growth for motion acceleration. <laughs> what might be um, like tripping you up right now. Um, perhaps you're trying to figure out how you might have gone wrong and been right in certain ways i don't think you necessarily care for the semantics of like um being right or wrong like i, I don't think this is fulfillment of like wishes and uh, hubris i don't think you're trying to go through the motions to feel like you are trying to become a better person it seems as of lately i think that um you're trying to build your confidence and with that you, i think you found that it's um through the path of a little bit more resistance um, towards yourself. Like, you might have been very social in the past. So you might have been very social in the past, um, which kind of got you far at some point. I think maybe you have a hard time learning in uh, normal schooling or education uh you're very smart street smart you're very well-rounded in a lot of ways you could even be very book smart in certain ways but i think it takes you having interest and or a certain approach in learning i think you tend to uh, learn the hard way but you're you're trying to figure out where you can um, make progress through your pitfalls i think that you're trying to find expansion in life and realizing that um the fool upright it's going to take um zero the fool it takes uh depleting how you have approached things whether you feel um natural or it feels uh, a little wonky it could feel very unnatural to you as of right now maybe you're just coming around to this uh notion so i think there's a sense of like you don't know how to show yourself um or how you want to come off i think there's a, a deep unsatisfaction with um yeah the five of pentacles there's a sense of like you have put yourself in situations maybe you feel spread thin or left out in certain ways uh based off of just not understanding um certain motions or not understanding situations in a certain way so you kind of have um ill approach or finding that um you want to get better results out of situations, but also you want um, a give and a take. I think you want these cards. I think you want to um, show people yourself in a way that they feel good too. Uh, it's no longer the game of like how to get by. Uh, yeah, the 10 of wands upright. I think you're just starting to feel so um, trapped in your head, in your outward space. There's a sense of like, you're wanting to escape in every sense of the word. <laughs> so you're trying to build, um, I think you've maybe tried to build um, expansively in business and to no avail, maybe even in love or there's certain things like you've tried in a lot of ways in the past year I'm hearing, but I think for a while you've kind of tried to evolve in ways and it just seems like nothing is giving or like you can never do anything right sort of situation but you are there's um the path this path is of resistance this is a past a path that you have um neglected your whole life or kind of evaded in certain ways because i think you understood what it would really take uh deep down in your psyche in your soul it, like this is your soul's purpose to overcome this this is a, a situation where you need to pass this um, internal plight in order to um, actually sink deeper into your feelings and satisfying other people with the way that you are. Because I don't think you necessarily need to like, change your personality. I think it's just a sense of like you need to change the way that you approach people, treat people, 
Um, and I think you need to separate that from your personality, perhaps. I think maybe you felt defensive in a way, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, like you've been uh, slighted in ways in life or people just don't understand you. Uh, life has maybe picked on you because you can't get anything right, like that kind of attitude. But I think it's a sense of like, your personality is not tied to how you treat people. It's a sense of like, um, you're wearing the things that have happened instead of letting uh, the challenge, instead of rising to the occasion, like taking on the challenge in a sense. Like you might be taking on a challenge, like challenges in ways, or maybe life is uh, providing you with several um, events, several challenges <laughs> at once. So you're just kind of like too much overload. Um, but there is a sense of like you're skirting the um, main path and maybe b because you have um, yeah I keep on feeling like this thing of like you just don't want to feel resistance and that's probably because um, the king of pentacles in reverse life has I'm hearing like maybe teachers have doubted you um, there's a whole thing about like people have not, uh, you've been mess mis uh represented uh i'm ill assigned to things like uh, maybe you've taken on things willingly thinking certain ways but not being like bad or trying to get um bad results whether it's just a sense of like you're trying to get by <laughs> and it just feels as though like your entire being is a destructiveness like it seems like you might have like this um deteriorating um effect on others or <clears throat> maybe you've hung out with people that have been very uh nihilistic or com like combative like uh Maybe you've seen a lot of people fall in ways or uh, I'm hearing pass away. Just like a lot of um, instances where there's a lot of people that you've gone through in life. And um, I think you cherish a lot of the things you've been through. So, I mean, there, there's this whole thing of like, not a bad person, not a bad person. Why does this keep on happening? Not a bad person. Yeah, and the king, you've gotten two kings so far, so there's a sense of, like, also you feel um, life is toying with you in a sense, perhaps, like, it gives you these opportunities and makes you feel special, but it just is so fleeting and flighty that, like, stabilizing um, anything just feels like a, a dream, almost, like, uh everything you might have an intuition that things are kind of like coming together in a certain way but it's just everything has always been so heavy or denied like it feels like you might have been denied for so long or like you made so many moves that have been to no avail or um have repercussions in certain ways i'm hearing like concussed or um cussed out in certain ways you, maybe you're trying to avoid getting cussed out maybe you're trying to like you're like I'm just trying to do the right thing <laughs> and I don't want to feel um any sort of heavy energy how do I um I think there's something in you that needs to find um like life wants you to find a way that hearing the heavy energy won't way down on your psyche perhaps uh the five of cups in reverse and the six of wands in reverse i think there is a spotlight uh meant for you i think you're going to be in the public eye or speaking publicly you're going to be in a way uh, like an awareness figure like people are going to be paying attention to you so much in the fact that if you have a woe is me sort of attitude or if things um get you down just by someone having a deterrent to you or feeling a, a sort of way about you and whatever just I think if you let it uh wear on you in any sort of way like you can take things and alchemize them into um strength or forward motion progress things like that apologies I keep on coughing so I think there's a sense of like people want you to shut up <laughs> people want you to maybe not fulfill your purpose or you're annoying people by um standing up for yourself or taking on a new principle or lifestyle in a way or maybe that's what you fear will happen if you want to um 
the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you have had a, an issue with assigning boundaries. I think you're very good at building and you're very eager to um, aid people, be there for others, and it is maybe life has made it uh, hard for you to sustain certain things so what you can is like you enjoy social situations maybe your friends have always felt like family or stuff like that so I think you've uh, wanted to see the best in people and as of lately um, it's all kind of crumbled or just kind of um, a fumble and I think there is a certain sense of like uh, a female figure in your life has uh, cast a lot of doubt upon you, maybe just um, from lack of effort or um, lack of education, like maybe you weren't educated because you were distracted in the past or like it was hard for you to learn because your environment was um, chaotic or tumultuous there's a lack of bliss feeling like a void created because of bullying from a female or a lack of um, female intention in a good way. Maybe you always have felt like um, people might have used you in certain ways or you always feel like you have to be of use in situations. You need to let that go. The Knight of Cups. Uh, there's a certain, yeah, there's a certain sense of maybe you've had a hard time saying no to advances uh, in romance or you found yourself uh, kind of cornered in certain ways because if people are nice to you, you're very nice back, you might be very personable, but people take it the wrong way. There's a sense of um, boundaries, maybe you always have like a wandering eye and uh, relationships and it's kind of prevented you from trusting others. You need to find um, a sacred boundary within yourself uh, that it was kind of severed due to your misinformation or um, decayed connection to like a loving source or something. Like you need to find, um, I don't want to just say self-love because like it's such a, it feels almost like empty just to say that there's a sense of like you need to find this boundary that you can um, say no and want better for yourself or uh, know how to approach people, know how to express yourself uh, when you want something or need something in situations. If you need more or you need less, uh, confronting situations that do not serve you or that you want more of. Like there's essentially, essentially like you being able to stand up for yourself um, judgment in reverse yeah I just I feel as though um, life will continue to let you fall victim to um, these games I'm hearing <laughs> like you could have just uh, had a lot of like yeah it feels like there's a, a big issue with like cheating or um having an issue with like thinking people will run out on you maybe ghosting or abandonment issues there is this like huge gaping um abandonment issues <laughs> and you want to feel loved and you want to give love to others you want to uh, feel this like empire that you're trying to build and i think maybe you kind of come across maybe sketchy in certain ways um <clears throat> maybe because you have a hard time uh being personable because uh you hold people at a certain distance and maybe uh that's a certain part of your personality or like something about you is just very um aloof or you know uh, what is it elusive sort of thing and that's beautiful it's what it is but there's a need for you to be able to say no or be able to express yourself in business and um, like relationships too in all forms of your life uh, just being able to confront things better not just saying yes or going along with things and then having a tiff later or just like 
you know, like people can feel stuff, the Hierophant upright. People can feel energies uh, more than you would assume. And people can kind of figure out situations like they can see them for what they are, no matter how much you can hide them. And even sometimes in life, when you think you know something, it can shake it up (laughs) on a dime. Like the tables, they always be turning. So like there's a sense of like lightening up, um, seeing the light and the dark sides of you and how they can be um, addressed better just knowing your sacred boundaries finding out uh, how you can communicate with people better uh, say your truth uh, say like your guilts or your wants there's like this whole thing about like just you've been getting by by um, just kind of staying under the radar even if you're in like the limelight I think that you do have like a certain thing about eyes on you and maybe you even have kind of like a a gloomy sort of essence about you, um, very emotional or like romantic in a certain way, just like sultry or something like that. So there's just, you need to be able to create boundaries with uh, the things that you feel, the things that you are um, with certain people and just everyone in general so that you can feel those boundaries within yourself so you can believe that they're possible in others you know like you want to have faith in others and I think it starts with yourself sort of situation (laughs) and you got this and you gotta know Olivia pile two hello greetings this is a forward motion message um guidance message I forgot (laughs) kind of what the original one was so um Prosperity message, I think, is what it was. That's what it was. You are charismatic, tired of being left out, tired of feeling out of the out in the cold, taking your power, setting sail to new waters, the Queen of Wands upright. It's an energy of I'm getting out of here, I'm gonna figure something out um if it's the last thing I do uh it feels um I think a lot of people have been very feeling very um bored kind of situation the hanged man in reverse okay so this card is so confusing so you might have felt uh in the recent uh the current state or just like the recent past uh you that you were kind of put in like a timeout or kind of sectioned off from others for good reason held back put yourself in timeout and (laughs) because maybe you were trying to like play better with others um you could have felt depleted in a lot of situations or this card's kind of confusing so you might have felt um like you needed to just hang back um figure some stuff out in order to get a better uh look at your reflection and you're wanting to new all new and i think you kind of started with yourself might have been for a while too the Knight of uh, Rings in reverse, so the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You might have had a lot of setbacks, a lot of things kind of make you feel as though it would be very difficult to meet new people or you don't know where to start. Um, You could have been working on a lot of other things in your life, so this is just uh, another thing that you're adding to the pile. You're willing to take it on, maybe feeling... uh, that time has eroded your um, ability to easily meet others or something about like it's been a while sort of situation or bad timing maybe uh, you something okay so maybe you felt like in the past you have um, had a had taken the times that you had and approached them incorrectly the lovers in reverse I think it's kind of a sense of like things in your life that you felt were very 
purposeful to you or very yours like they were meant to be in your life they were meant for you uh maybe you felt like you did something wrong to make them kind of happen in a fall apart or something they kind of slipped through your fingers or there's things that you could have done better um time and time again maybe um even with lovers, but it feels more of like situations in life, maybe even business. The nine of rings upright. I think you have seen a lot of success in ways, maybe frustrated. Uh, like if you had made better decisions, you could have been so much farther at this point in time. There, That kind of attitude is uh, only going to keep you in stagnance, though, because there's a sense of like, you have the nine of rings, so... Um, you need to, uh, you've come really far, first of all. Hmm. It's very curious. So I think maybe your next step could be, um, figuring out a way of giving and taking love. Maybe you have a love offer or there was a mishandling of people in your life, the justice in reverse. Maybe throughout your whole life you are looking back on how you might have been perceived in a negative way. Uh, you could have come off as a bad person and maybe you're feeling like it's kind of getting you now like attacking you in certain ways karma some would feel uh you are looking for love or ultimate um give and take i think you were trying to find a partnership in several ways of your life maybe you're trying to move or you're trying to build with someone uh but it's kind of like empire sort of thing like i think you're actually trying to build with someone uh more than you ever have maybe you've only had very um surface level relationships in life and you're kind of finding ways that you would be able to actually invest in someone or someone that you would actually feel like investing towards the king of swords upright um maybe a little defensive about the situation for lack of understanding it the right way i think you uh or someone who really likes to figure out a situation best how to approach it before you give off your position. This is, yeah, the seven of wands. Yeah, you really don't want to give away your position before uh, realizing where everyone stands. I think it's kind of like a battlefield at this point. You realize that things are very, for you, very dire. Um, you want this 77 could be uh, important to you or reoccurring as of lately or 11 11 uh seven of swords and the seven of wands yeah maybe you're feeling uh as though maybe you're being there's these past situations have been a repercussion for your whole life Perhaps everything is coming to a head as of lately, and you're kind of just wanting it to all end. Uh, you've wanted to give up. You wanted to pr go forward. You have a, uh, gone about things how you always have. Uh, you've switched it up. Just a sense of, like, you've gone back and forth. There's no uh, stability in the things that you feel, so it's kind of resulting in... Um, it's permeating, like, and it's actually showing through in physical forms as well like you might have had an unstable lifestyle felt as though things were fleeting uh things have been really just heavy beyond uh compare as of lately and you're wondering what you did to deserve it or how you could have been different but uh the attitude has definitely it's it's a little um I'm hearing worrisome, but I think it's a uh, maybe wondering is the word like it goes back and forth. It doesn't there's no stable like I want to move forward. I think you kind of go from like, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I don't want anything. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to feel anything any longer to, OK, the only way forward is just like 
day-to-day approach and there's a need for um, realizing that the day-to-day approach maybe is let's see yeah the day-to-day approach you need to take things more um, by the reins or maybe you feel as though people are holding back information from you so you don't want to um, identify it or you're not trying to give away too much because you feel as though maybe you have already given a lot to uh, various situations maybe you're trying to see what would be best for you uh, as of right now like knowing maybe what your ultimate goal is the eight of swords in reverse yeah maybe you're starting to see that uh, the ways of perhaps um Maybe you've kind of, like, tried to make yourself feel better through dating as of lately or trying to see what it would be like dating again and it's kind of feeling like a flop in certain ways. I think you're kind of um, wanting to redirect towards trying again I'm hearing maybe you're circling back around um after let's see the eight of swords upright and clarified by the eight of swords in reverse no they were both in reverse so you just got the eight of swords clarified in reverse but clarified by the eight of swords in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse so maybe um you have felt depleted by all of your relationships in the past and so dating has not been on your radar seriously ever maybe you've never had a healthy relationship um so you felt as though like you kind of always understood that you would have a relationship because this is the two of pentacles and it was did I say upright no it was in reverse so I think you always had this idea that uh your work would be separated from your love life or your life would always be like segregated in ways you would have it sectioned off like maybe your friend groups have been different um your work has been different your love life has been they're all vastly different planets almost so there's a need to cohesively put them together because your life is becoming deranged by um all these like ends like you have so many like loose ends just based off of um not figuring out like I think you enjoy a lot of things you enjoy doing a lot of things but you've evaded how to put them all together cohesively in your life because of approach in some ways in the past maybe you have had a um, tumultuous lifestyle just a chaotic past maybe your loneliness has permeated in ways that of like uh, substance abuse or just like uh, dating or you look for um, approval in others or reassurance in others have a hard time um, saying no to people or just like you're always around for people or you're always there for others um, but not building on yourself and even when you are trying to build on yourself it's a sense of like it really depends on what other people are up to or doing or like there's a heavy sense of like needing others and in your life I think there is a purpose in like partnership and community I think there's like a cultural thing uh set like there's something in your life that is very much like social bound and you need to figure out your next uh path and prosperity would be taking like you need to approach one thing and I think or like maybe it's a few things but there's a need to sever some ties or like figure out how to go about this path in a way that um is the two of pinnacles upright upright which is like things working for you as well I think you have um 
all of these things in your life, like your your social life, your love life, your business life, I think they all can be combined into one somehow, maybe not actively, like you can't plan that out sort of thing, but it will come together in a way. Like, I think you've always kind of felt like it might, but it's always never done that. You uh, Maybe some, like, you might have had sketchy tendencies or just like in your life, you've always just managed to kept everything separate <laughs> and um because of that I think maybe a lot of things have fallen away or you have a lot of bad memories that you thought were good at one point or like the way that you thought things were um when you look back at them now you're kind of like that might have been not the best way to be <laughs> or that might uh have been a little harsher than it needed to be or life was difficult always and truly you're just like okay how do we start then it's like the you're starting from a new standpoint a lot of things have ended lately um you're wanting to feel good you want to feel happy uh the the heaviness that you have felt you're ready to cast it aside and i think that comes with um trying to find this path that feels the most true to you so that you can um like take on all of these things together like I think they will assign themselves to you in ways like your life has come together in ways uh, meticulously or not. Like I think uh, it's kind of like the mystically you've gotten a lot of opportunities or things have fallen into place really nicely for you. The page of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you don't even know how um, things have come together always, but you you kind of have a, a spark like you have faith and hope always. Um in yourself and the thing like I think your love life and your social life will come together uh, and be one and healthy and I think that's the 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 way that it will start to be healthy in your life like maybe it has uh, those things have been kind of um, neglected in certain ways in your life whether it's through you or others or just a mixture mixed bag of that sort of thing but it's all coming together um, for you with effort of course um you might kind of have a feeling towards certain things it's going to definitely take intuition and practice and kind of like actually taking on your purpose whether that takes like alone time or um, meditation therapy um a more active lifestyle or the three of wands yeah just kind of having more um an open mind uh, maybe giving up pride and ego, maybe some ego deaths for you. The the things in your life, you have a reason to be prideful and you have a reason to want all the things that you desire and they kind of are for you very much. But um, the sketchiness can fall away. You can have all these things that have reoccurred in your life that kind of make you feel sick to your stomach or ill or just like they're shadowy in certain ways. And those things um, will diminish um, over time. You won't feel those things anymore or perhaps ever again when you start to assign yourself to feeling better and taking on roles that feel more natural to you, more suiting to you, lighthearted, um, go towards things that you care about truly like uh put yourself on a the the pedestals that you put others on so that you just feel like you could talk to them like or don't put people on pedestals so that you just uh talk to them freely and openly like everyone is just a person and um go for it go for it. try <laughs> it's there's a sense of like um If you feel like you want to communicate with something or someone or tell your truth or be more open and honest, um, do that. Try it. It will only um, get you closer to the things that you desire, whether you have good results or not. uh, You need to be in the mindset of trying will only get you closer to the things you desire. And you got this. You gotta know I love you. Yeah.